Desmond Du here from No Sleep Creative. Today we're going to learn how to make this random character animation using text animators and expression. So let's begin. In After Effects, let's hit Command N to create a new composition. I'm going to call this comp name demo and click OK. I'm going to use my type 2, Command T and type in the word typography. Let's center it using our align panel. And then let's go into our text layer and open it up and go to animate. Position. We're going to delete the range selector because we do not need it. Let's rename our text animator to Y. And then we are going to add in an expression selector. So before we proceed, let's add in slider controls for our setup. So let's go to our effects and preset panel and type in slider and just double click on it. We're going to hit Command D twice because we need three sliders. The first slider will be C, the second one will be delay. And the third one will be Y. And this slider will be used to animate our Y axis for each character. Moving on, let's go into our expression selector. Open it up. Let's first of all, let's insert all variables. So seed is equals to the slider. And let's do that for the delay as well. And then for the last one, let's call it animator. Let's do that again. So the next thing we need to do is to generate a random fixed value for each character. And we can do so by writing seed random text index plus C. So we can change the C from our slider control, comma, true, because we want it to be a fixed value, semicolon. And let's create a variable called X and let's go, let's type in random parentheses. Let's do 60, 100 and then semicolon. And because you know position is an array, we need it to be uh, in a square bracket. So x comma x, and let's see what happens. Let me just increase the position, and you can see each character has been randomly displaced uh, in the positive y-axis. But we also want it to be in the negative y-axis, so we need to write uh, two more lines of code. So first of all, we need to make it random. We need to make sure that uh, it's either positive or negative. So we're going to type in random parentheses. So this will generate a value between 0 or 1. And if this random value is more than 0 0.5, and then uh, it is going to this variable called mal is equals to negative 1, else it is going to equals to 1. So writing this statement over here is basically it has a 50% 50, 50 chance of being negative or positive. And we're going to multiply x with this variable. And ta-da! We can see that uh, it, it worked. And if we were to change the slider value, we can randomize uh, the values. Okay, so the next question is, how do we animate this? We're going to use a linear interpolation. So if we type in linear, and our input will be time, 0, comma, 1. And then our start value will be v. And then it's going to end up at 0, 0. And let's see what happens. So basically, it's just going to animate from within one second from 100 to 0. So let's play it. So something like that. But of course, you guys will want to have like keyframe control. So there's a way to do that. So first of all, let's create a new. We already have the variable slider here. So we can actually plug it in. So instead of time, we can put animator. And then we can set it from 0 to 100 instead. So now when I keyframe my Y slider control, let's go to about 20 frames now and put it 100 so it will reach its completion. Let's play it. There you go. So you can uh, add speed graph to, the, to this Y slider control. And now we want to randomize each character from setting in. So right now everything is going in at the same speed. So we can add a delay to each character and uh, we can basically do this to our animator. We type in value at time, time minus delay because we have the slider value over here. So we can set the delay to maybe about one second. And uh, we also need to ran give a random delay value. So let's go into our delay variable. We type in random. And then let's put a parenthesis at the back. So our slider control is at one. So it's going to generate a random value between uh, you know, zero and one. 
and see what happens if we play it. So you can see it's, it's kind of like glitching or like jittering. That's because we need to place our delay, our random delay, under the seed random because it's constantly generating a random value. So let's play it. And you can see it's set, the text is animating at different speed. So you can increase the delay uh, using this slider. So maybe it will just take longer to set it. But for now, we're just going to use one second. It is possible to make this setup using the range and weekly selector. And I actually done so over here as an experiment. I find that there was not much control or too much controls. So uh, you go ahead and play around with this After Effects file, which I will provide in the link in the description below. But let's back to this demo. So we got a Y axis down. All we need to do, let's press U to show our animated keyframes and just make it faster. And let's keyframe assistant, easy ease, in. Let's play that. So maybe it could be faster. So let's go to the speed graph and just Drag this over here and see it. Okay. That's okay for now. And let's move on. So now that we've done the Y axis, we can also give it, make it more organic, uh, give it some organic movement. Let's go back to our text animator and go selector, wiggly. And in our wiggly selector, we can just turn out the wiggle down to about 0.5. So it doesn't look so stiff when it's animating. And let's increase the position to about 500. So we can see it is more distant to animate. So let's reduce the wiggle down to 0.1, see what happens. Okay, all right, so that works. And let's moving on, let's duplicate this Y axis and uh, this text animator and rename it to X. And let's go to our effects control and also duplicate the slider too and rename it to X. Let's go inside our expression in the X text animator and let's change the animator to effect Y to effect X. And we can close it now and we can reduce the position and increase in the X axis by 300. And let's show, press U to show animated keyframes. And we're gonna just stagger the keyframe. So X is gonna animate first, followed by Y. So now we're gonna animate our tracking and scale. Let's go to our text animator, go to animate, and then we're gonna go tracking. And we're gonna set tracking to be 40. And we're gonna set a keyframe down somewhere here and put it down to zero. At the same time, we're gonna do it for scale. Let's press S. And we're actually going to scale down to about 75%. Let's put a keyframe down, maybe actually 80. And let's go down and let's give it about 150. Maybe that's too big. So something like that, 120. Press U to show animated keyframes. And let's grab both of these linear keyframes. Let's go keyframe assistant, easy ease in. And let's see, let's position it properly. Actually, undo my Y. So let's play that. So we're going to stagger the tracking and then the skill. So let's just say we're okay with this animation. And we're going to make each character randomize its letter. And we can do so by going to our, back to our text animator. Let's go to our white text animator and add in a property character offset. Or we can add in a character value. And you can increase the offset. And you're going to get a different letter before it reaches the final position. And let's set it back to 0. We can set it to uh, the character value to 10. And we're going to get a bunch of random character. The next thing we're going to do is to create our strokes. So let's hit Command Y to create a black solid. Let's call this strokes. And click OK. I'm going to go to my effects and preset and type in Venetian lines. So we are going to increase the transition up to about 80%. 
and at a direction of 20 degree. And now all we can need to do is to set matte. And then we are going to change the take matte from layer to typography. And you can see it's going to be stay within our type animation. And let's stylize the motion with adjustment layer. And we're going to, let's call this a posterize. And we're going to go to our effects and preset and type in posterize time. Let's grab that. And we can change the frame rate to 12. Let's reduce the opacity of the stroke down to about yeah, 40%. 40 And we're done. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Please leave a comment if there is something you want me to elaborate on. You can have this After Effects file for free in the link in the description below. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked this video, please subscribe and like for more. You can also follow me on Instagram at DesmondDude to see my latest work. Alright, that's all I have for you guys. I'll see you next time.